3.6 we can express this to become 36 because 36 is a perfect square so we can simply say 36 and then multiply by for us to make this 36 we have moved the decimal point once so since we have moved the decimal point once we subtract that one from this power so anytime you move a decimal point to the right you subtract from the power so we subtract once since we have moved it once and then all becomes this 2.25 can be expressed as 225 so 225 and how did we do that we decided to move the decimal point twice so as a result of that we're going to subtract 2 from this power so it becomes times 6 that's 10 raised to the power 6 minus 2 so we are subtracting 2 from the power because we have moved this decimal point twice so now this don't forget the square root sign has to be there so this becomes the square root of 36 which is 6 all divided by the square root of 225 which is 15 and then all multiplied by the square root of this is 10 raised to the power negative 4 all divided by 10 raised to the power of 4 6 minus 2 will give us 4. So this becomes in its lowest term 3 in 6 will give us 2 and 3 in 15 will give us 5. So we say multiply by 10 raised to the power minus 4 and then we say minus 4 because in indices when they are dividing we subtract the power. So we say minus 4 and then we subtract this negative I mean this power down here. So we say 4 minus 4. And then because of the square root sign, we are going to multiply by half. Don't forget, square root means raised to the power of half. So we are multiplying the power by half. So this becomes 0 0.6. And then multiply by 10 raised to the power. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. And then all multiply by half, which is what we are going to write down here so this becomes 0 0.6 all multiplied by 10 raised to the power negative 4. don't forget negative 8 multiplied by half will give us negative 4 and then now we're going to move this decimal point once just like we did before so we're going to say 6 multiplied by we subtract 1 from this power since we are moving this once we also subtract 1 from the power so it becomes 10 raised to the power minus 5 when we subtract 1 from this power and this becomes the final answer. Thank you for watching.